Maritime Made on Eastlink TV is presented in partnership with Nova Scotia Business Inc. NovaScotiaBusiness.com. Five years ago, Taproot Farm owners Patricia and Josh decided that along with growing and offering community vegetables, fruit, and meat from their farm, they wanted to offer clothes as well. And so Taproot Fiber Lab was born. Now they're growing clothes right on the farm in Port Williams, Nova Scotia. How's that for local? The clothes are made from linen, which comes from the fiber crop flax. Taproot quickly discovered that small-scale flax processing equipment just doesn't exist. So they set out to invent and design a small-scale processing line of their own. Harvested flax is stored in the barn until it's ready to be processed. This is flax harvested by hand from four acres of land. It's transferred to the processing barn where production begins on this prototype production line. The flax is first spread evenly along the base of a clamp. Then the top of the clamp secures the flax tightly in place. This clamp will carry the flax through the production line. The first step is to break the fiber from the straw or shiv. The shiv is the outer woody stem of the plant that's crushed between three steel rollers. The flax moves back and forth between the rollers about nine times until the stem is completely crushed. Next, the flax moves to the scoocher or the beater. Here the stems are beaten to remove the shiv from the rest of the plant. Only the bottom half of the plant has been processed so far. Counter-rotating steel turbines with 18 edges scrape and shake out the broken shiv. The fiber is then combed smooth and straight. This is called hackling. The shorter and lower quality fiber, called toe, is also separated. The fiber is hackled using two counter-rotating belts with 8-inch hackles fastened in rows. These increase in density from 0.75 pins per inch, graduating up to 40 pins per inch. This process straightens, cleans, and separates the fibers, leaving only the highest quality long linen fibers on the clamp. At this stage, the clamp is removed from the end of the processing line. Only the bottom half of the plant has been processed so far. So now the clamp is placed on the other end of the plant material so it can be run through the process again this time working the other end of the plant material. Once both ends of the plant have been processed, the remaining long linen fibers on the clamp are removed and smoothed out. Hand hackling is the next step for the long linen fibers. The fibers are pulled through a series of pins or combs until it moves through easily. Each comb is more fine than the last. Hand hackling the fiber brings out the sheen and removes any last debris or shiv. The remaining fiber flax is soft, beautiful, and ready for sale to hand spinners or for spinning long line linen. Through this process, the shorter fibers called toe fall to the floor beneath the processing line. Although shorter, these fibers are still useful. The toe is gathered up and taken to the picker where the bits of shiv will be removed. The shiv needs to be entirely separated as it can't be spun into the yarn or thread. Here, the toe is fed onto a conveyor belt and runs through a series of pins that work to separate the shiv. The toe is further processed on the next machine called a Belfast Mini Mill Separator. The toe is loaded on the conveyor where it's spread by hand to a thin, even layer. The fiber runs through a series of combs and rollers inside the mill and comes out the other end clean and ready for the fiber spinning mill. The toe is then laid out in 100 gram balls and spread out evenly on a conveyor belt. 
This machine is called a carter. The linen fiber is sprayed with water to improve the quality of the carding. If a blend of wool and linen yarn was being made, this is where they would be blended together. The carter is a series of combs and rollers that weaves the fibers together. It creates a long strand of fiber called a roving. The roving is collected into tubs where it forms a natural coil. Because this material is still too thick and uneven for spinning, the roving is threaded into the draw frame, where it's drawn or pulled out further. It runs along a series of rollers and combed wheels and is then twisted. Next, a bobbin is placed on the spinner machine and a leader thread is wound through. The drawn out roving is threaded into the spinner from the back to the front, then through a condenser and clamped in place. The roving is spun onto the bobbin as the spinner guides the yarn up and down. It's now a fine single yarn of flax linen. The yarn can be plied to create thicker material, just like two or three ply yarn. Or it can be taken to the loom for weaving into fabric. First, the linen is wound onto the bobbin. The bobbin is then loaded into a tool called the shuttle. The shuttle is guided by hand through threads called the warp threads or the vertical threads of the fabric. The shuttle is thrown through the warp threads one row at a time. These threads being added are called the weft threads or the horizontal threads. The weaver moves the shuttle back and forth being mindful of the edge of the weave. The tension is controlled when the weaver pulls down the beater, which pulls the linen into place. The loom is controlled with foot pedals that direct which threads will be lifted to create the finished fabric. The finished fabric will be used to produce the Taproot Fiber Clothing Collection, which will be available through a community-supported membership model. In this small-scale, sustainable process, 100% of the plant is used. Any straw or shiv will be used for animal bedding, compressed fire logs, or mulch. And the toe and long linen will be made into clothing grown right here in Nova Scotia.